In this solve example, uh, we will demonstrate how to use the effectiveness NTU method uh, employing uh, equation. This is the second example. Uh, so the problem is as follow: hot oil it has a CP of uh, two kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin enters a counter flow heat exchanger at 150 degrees Celsius and leaves at 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, the hot oil here flows at a rate of 1.25 kg per, uh, per second. It is cooled using water. CP water is given 4.186 kJ per kg Kelvin. The water enters the heat exchanger at 20 degrees Celsius and exits at 80 degrees Celsius. The overall heat transfer coefficient is given at 1.8 kW per square meter Kelvin. Estimate the required surface area of the heat exchanger. So as the previous example, similar to the previous example, we the first thing we need to do is we draw the flow illustration in the heat exchanger, which I have made here. So you see here, uh, the hot stream is actually uh, hot oil. Uh, we can enter at 150 degrees Celsius, so this is the hot oil. Okay, and the cold stream is um, actually water, which enter at 20 degrees Celsius. So this is a water stream. Okay, the properties of the stri stream is given. We are given uh, mH equal to one uh, here, mH uh, equal to 1.25 kilogram per second. We also have a CPH uh, two kilog uh, kilogram Kelvin, and then. On the lower side, we are given the CP of uh, cold, which is the CP of water, uh, 4.1, this is 4.186 kJ per kilogram Kelvin, but we don't know what will be the uh, mass flow rate of water. So that things that we need to calculate. So what we can see from here is first, we can identify the Tmax. Tmax uh, is actually the the biggest difference of the temperature given in the stream, in that case we know it's TH in 150 degrees Celsius minus TC in, T cold in which is 20 degrees Celsius. So uh, we, we end, end up with the delta T max equal to 130 degrees Celsius. Next, uh, we need to find out the uh, stream capacity of hot. We have all with, which is equal to CP, uh, CP hot uh, times the mass of the hot stream. Then we find out the C hot, CH equal to 0. Point, <coughs> sorry, 2.5 kilowatt per Kelvin. So next, uh, we normally uh, go on with uh, calculating CC, but since we don't know the uh, mass flow rate of uh, water, we need to find out it first. We use the normal equation. <coughs> Ki equal is actually equal to CH times delta TH. We find out the Ki actual and then from the Ki actual we can calculate the uh, uh, MC. Okay, MC then equal to Ki actual divided by the CP of the cold water divided by delta T water. And we find out MC equal to 1.1 uh, kilogram per second. Since now we uh, we know what MC is, we can calculate the uh, heat capacity of the cold stream, which is <coughs> equal to 4.6 uh, kilowatt per Kelvin. Remember that uh, we need to uh, specify which which one is. Uh, C means and which one is C max? Anything that is bigger will be C max. So this is C max, and anything that is smaller, uh, which is uh, C min. In this case, next we calculate the, the capacity relative, which is equal to uh, C min divided by C max. We find out it's 0 0.54. Uh, Subsequently, then we find out the effectiveness number. It's equal to K equal divided by K max. We uh, end up with the uh, epsilon equal to 0 0.85. And then finally, because we are using the equation, we check into the table the appropriate equation. It is a counter flow heat exchanger. Okay. We go, we find out the following equation. <coughs> then uh, uh, 
uh, we we know the, <coughs> we know all except the NTU. We know the epsilon equal to 0 0.85. We know the C relative, which is equal to 0 0.54. Uh, and uh, by rearranging equation, uh, you we will end up with NTU uh, equal to 2.76. And then from the uh, NTU equation, we can estimate the required heat transfer e uh, area, which is 4. Uh, 4.93 uh, square meter.